August 12th, 1944. The sky over England doesn't just explode, it erases. In a split second, 21,000 pounds of Torpex, the equivalent of a tactical nuke, vaporizes a B-24 Liberator. Inside that plane was Lieutenant Joseph P. Kennedy Jr., the man groomed to be president instead of JFK. He didn't die in a dogfight. He was killed by his own secret weapon, a weapon so dangerous, engineers called it impossible. A weapon designed to kill a monster that could not be destroyed. France, 1944. Hitler has built monster bunkers, massive concrete domes launching V weapons at London. Allied bombers hit them with everything they have. The result, zero penetration. The concrete is 20 feet thick. We are losing the war of physics. Desperate US engineers propose Operation Aphrodite. If a bomb is too small, turn the entire plane into the bomb. They strip old B-17s and pack them with 10 tons of high explosives. But this is the 1944. There are Over no steady. microchips. To, to get this drone airborne, a human pilot has to fly this flying powder keg to 2,000 feet, arm the fuse manually, and then jump out. It's a suicide mission with a parachute. The technology is primitive. Twitchy servos, fuzzy television cameras, one loose wire, one spark in your pink mist. Joe Kennedy volunteers. He wants to end the V-weapon terror. He gets the drone up, he levels off. He reaches for the arming switch, but he never gets to jump. A microscopic electrical ghost, a short circuit in the solenoid, triggers the detonators early. Boom, no body is ever found. The Kennedy dynasty is shattered. And the worst part, the drone misses the target. The American robot failed. So the British tried gravity. Genius engineer Barnes Wallace built the tall boy, an earthquake bomb. It didn't hit the bunker. It hit the earth underneath it at supersonic speed, liquefying the foundation. The Nazi domes collapsed under their own weight. Physics won, but history is ironic. Kennedy died for a failed experiment. Yet today, wars are fought entirely by the very thing that killed him, the combat drone. Sometimes the future is built on the ashes of the brave.